Happy Sunday, my film friends. Dave the Film Junkie here. Welcome to the Sunday box office report. You know, I swear to God, guys. I swear to God. I had intentions to get this video up during the day. I did. You know how I always say, like, I'm always late and I'm trying to work on it? I actually had intentions today. I really did. I woke up. I watched the first wave of football. And then I was like, all right, then I'm just going to start getting to work. I need to do that. But then, of course, stuff didn't happen. I had to go visit some family and stuff like that. It's just... Ah, I can never win with that. So one of these Sundays, I'm going to get this damn video up before, well, before 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock my time. Anyways, if you're new to my box office report, well, first off, I go off on little tangents like that and talk about nonsense that has nothing to do with the box office. But uh, yeah, if you're new to my video, I give you the top five domestic earners. And then, of course, we talk about the uh, the international numbers because those are quite important as well. So here we go, guys. Coming in number five. Holy shit. Who saw this coming? This movie flopped. It actually flopped, and I still haven't seen it yet. Maybe it's my fault. First Man. you got to wonder if that whole controversy with the whole movie. Yeah, it's so dumb. First Man, um, it made $8.5, $8.6 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic grand total to $30 million in two weeks. $59 million budget. Um, overall, it's made 55.5 million. So, I mean, it's kitting up there, but it's considered a flop. This is a movie starring Ryan Gosling about the, the moon landing, directed by a very, uh, an up-and-coming director. I mean, the good thing about it, though, is it's getting a lot of critical praise and even Oscar buzz. So, it's probably going to get that, and that'll help oomph, the, the, the sales, for sure, and the box office and the home video and, and renting and everything like that. So, it'll definitely add to it. It's just so weird. How, like, audiences are just like, fuck this. And it's just, you had to wonder, was it partly? Ah, who knows? Coming to number four, Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween. And it made $9.7 million over this weekend, bringing that domestic grand total to $28.8 million. And let's see the international total. It's made $39.9. $35 million budget. I don't think there's going to be a third one. It could be wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. First one, I even said I enjoyed it. I was surprised, and I was surprised by the first one. I actually really enjoyed it. Coming to number three, it finally got bumped out of its top spot, Venom. And it made $18.1 million over this weekend, bringing that uh, domestic grand total to $171 million. Internationally, it is creeping up to f a half a billion dollars, which is fantastic. $461.8 million. There you go. Like I said, I've never been more proud of a movie I didn't like. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm waiting to rewatch it again. I'm pretty sure I'll like it more the second time. I'm, I'm absolutely positive. But I just, you know, I'm still going to be like, yeah, but there's still things I don't like. Coming to number two, which is this movie is just going to have legs like, like a motherfucker. A Star is Born. I didn't realize that this was the fourth remake. I thought it was the third, but my God, how many times they get remake this movie? But apparently they keep nailing it. It's one of those stories that you can bring into whatever time period you're in and just make it work, I guess. $19.3 million over this weekend, uh, bringing that domestic grand total to 126.4. Internationally, it's made over $200 million. Wow. Small little movie, $36 million. I mean, it wasn't small. They had some pretty epic shots, but um, $201 million to be exact. That is crazy and then of course coming to number one and you know you already saw my review of it i enjoyed it i love the homage to the first one and it was uh, generally a good sequel it was a really good sequel but i just figured that just could have done so much more that was my only there were some frustrations with it but still i'm glad that audiences went out to go see it halloween 2018 i guess we're gonna say um it made 77.5 million dollars 10 million dollar budget blumhouse is fucking crushing it okay first off they're hiring really good people to make their movies they're making really good stories and they're keeping the budgets low they're keeping them low this movie is going to be hugely profitable 91.8 million dollars 10 million dollar budget this movie is going to be big time profitable and you better believe there's probably going to be a sequel or something like that. I just hope some of the stuff they could just really, like, you know, let's really, like, make something unique with the next one. Not just to see, put the same old tropes in there, man. Let's just stop doing that. Anyways, guys, so there you go. Let me know what you saw over the weekend down below and what you thought about it. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit FilmJunkie.com. Um, visit the uh, the closet for shirts and stickers. Follow me on um, on Twitter, Instagram, my new Instagram, and then, of course, Facebook. It's all down there below. I need to change the background here. just haven't had time to do that there. I, even, I don't use. Who uses Google Plus? Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later.